So this is a pretty short video. It's purely on extraoral bite wings. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few images and also a couple of the software tools that you have to make sure that those bite wings are presented the best way. I've had a few calls recently saying that those images are coming out a little bit weird. There's too much upper, too much lower. So I'll show you how to correct that in the software. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So you can see on this bite wing that we've taken off of the 8200 3D that we're getting much more of the upper and much less of the lower. So that's what I was talking about. Now in the tools, this is CSI version 8.0.17. We can select this little toolbar and there's this button over here for synchronize pan for bite wing images. As long as that is highlighted, I can shift my image around to get more of a traditional bite wing look. So even though it might not be captured exactly the way you want to, you can just shift it around to get exactly what you want. So we can see here, here's one example. Uh, we can see here, here's another example of a bite wing that I captured recently. Okay. And here's an example of a bite wing that was captured where the patient was not positioned correctly. We can still see decay into proximally over here, which is nice, but you can see the chin is way too far down. So you want the chin to be up where the occlusal plane is parallel to the floor. Like you can see on these examples, this one in the chin is just way too far down. Um, so the chin is gonna be much higher than the positioning of a traditional panoramic image. So I hope this helps. Talk to you soon.